So already this dividing line, the interesting thing I was starting to see uh, is a dividing line between libertine and, liber and libertarian. Um, if I can find the clip here too. Uh, that's something that uh, even Buck Johnson and others have been talking about where the, li the libertine aspect of libertarianism is really what kind of attracts most of the people to it. So this is a sign little meme libertarians keep moving this is this, is, this li libertines <laughs> keep moving this is a libertarian neighborhood um but again you can't you can't filter that out there is no filter for libertarians to filter out libertines who like you said oliver is like they just want to smoke weed and play playstation and they don't want and they want that to be normalized and they want that to be recognized as good or equally as good as being being the ceo of microsoft or whatever like that's that, that's the <laughs> the internal insanity that these people are, com are, are are presenting where you can go play PlayStation, eat pizza all day. If you want, like no one's stopping you under the current system. You can do, you can do that. You're, you're not, it's not going to be sexy. It's it, no, no one's going to you know praise you for it, but you can do it. So what else do you want? You want something else. You want to be in power, but when you're offered it, you reject it. Like, that's the ultimate like if this doesn't kill the whole party i don't know what will i i, I can't I, I don't understand how anyone with half a brain can can view this as more than just a weird little support group thing that they're that they're pulling off but any last thoughts on that folks we're going to wrap it up we're at the two hour mark i don't want to keep you uh, for too long yeah, I, I like I said, I, I can understand uh, people who pass through a libertarian phase, and there are a whole bunch of them that come further to what gets glossed as the right. Um, there are all kinds of problems with that designation, as we all know. Um, but mostly, everyone who and anyone who's involved with uh, large L libertarianism, the ideology and the party, rather than just like leave me the hell alone as a philosophy, um, all of them they're they're shockingly ridiculous um they should be laughed out of town um yeah they're it's they're embarrassing themselves and it, it's gotten to the point where it's disgusting and so all of you should uh, anyone who has 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 gone down that road and is involved with those people stop it uh stop it right now shame on you <laughs> kyle uh, you know, we started this podcast a little over three years ago. And if you go back to the audio only version of it before we started a YouTube, I was like a, I was a Mises guy, you know, I was down for the whole Mises caucus thing. Uh, and you can watch, I mean, if you, if you commit yourself to listening to all of the podcasts we've done, you can watch me turn from that into, you know, whatever the, whatever the hell I am now. And I keep hoping that things are going to snap these people out of it and bring them to some kind of sense, but it just keeps not happening. Uh, you know, the, the COVID thing that didn't wake them up. Uh, uh, the Trump stuff that hasn't woken them up. Uh, I, I just don't have any faith that this is going to wake them up either, but you know, I, I'm praying for them. I'm hoping that it does, but uh, I just don't have a whole lot of hope. Uh, but they're welcome. We need we need you because a lot of these people aren't stupid. They're not like Dave Smith is not a stupid person. Um, we we could use someone like Dave Smith, uh, you know, talking our uh, our talking points, putting the, our talking points out there. So 